everybody. How are you doing? Doing good. Great. Great. He's doing great. <laughs> are you guys doing great? He's doing great. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to learn a verse first tonight. A new verse. The last verse. The very last verse. So we're going to learn that first. So look up here. It looks really long, right? But of course, we have a song to learn it with. So it will help us. Doesn't look long? Even better. Okay. So here are the words to the new Bible verse for tonight. It says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And it's Revelation 21, 4. So let's see if we can say it together, and then we'll learn the song that goes with it. Okay, so we're going to start with Revelation 21, 4. Let me hold on one second. Okay. All right. So here we go. Ready? Revelation 21, 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So here is how the new song goes that goes with it. be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Good, let's do it again now, now that you know it. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right, we'll get it. We'll practice it again. Now we're going to do something really neat. We want to be able to stand up and show our parents all the things that we have learned this week. And we want to be able to show them all the verses we've learned on Sunday night when they come back. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. You ready? So first, all of the big kids that are back in the Jaguar class, all the Jaguar class, show me that you're, you can hear me. Look at me. Okay. All the Jaguar class, you guys are going to walk. Emmy's going to walk first. And you're going to walk up and stand right on the front edge of the top step. Can you do that? So Emmy, you go first and lead them and you guys follow Emmy up there. See if you can do it. All right. Eli, let David go by you there. There you go. Can you stand all the way across? Stretch out all the way down. Good job, David. Got it. Um, can you guys yeah, stretch out a little more so you go all the way across to the other step? Okay, now. The Eagles class in the middle there. You guys come and stand on this, these two steps right here. Come on, Eagles. That's perfect. Is that all the Eagles? Oh, there's some more. Come on, Eagles. <laughs> Still this side. Yeah. Good job. Right, perfect. All right, perfect. And now. The little guys in the front, you guys go right over there and stand on that step over there. Can you do it? Um, the, what are they? The rabbits. rabbits, rabbits. Oh, nice. Here they come. You guys can stand with your class up there. Find your class and stand with them. Perfect. Oh, here comes some more. Even more. Come stand with your class up here, guys.
Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll invite our peers to sing along with us and we'll sing our four songs that we have been singing and we'll have the words to help us a little bit because I think that will be a little easier, I'm not sure. So let's do this one first. And why don't we stand up and sing it even though we've been standing up. Let's stand up and sing it, ready, go. Sing as good as you can sing, sing your best. And zip through these real quick. I should probably try to say something about that it's a silly song before we sing that, shouldn't I? Because your prayers will probably not know what to think. <laughs> okay, we've got one more silly song to sing right here. John's favorite.
I know I'm going a minute over, but we got one more song. Let's try it a couple minutes over. Do it real quick, fast one. That way we know we know it for the thing, and then we'll move on. job and thanks for standing up so long now you can sit down and we're going to have a special speaker come and I don't even know who it oh it's Mr. Castro awesome this is an awesome speaker you're going to love it so here he comes no pressure no, pressure. no, pressure. no it's great he's awesome I don't know if you need uh, no I don't know how to I don't know how to do it but anyway, isn't it great that now we understand each other? Not like the other day, like me and Mr. Kingston over there were able to talk to each other and understand each other, and I don't wander off into the ocean or the jungle and all kinds of good things. Isn't that good now? And look, now we understand each other. So God is working. He's working in, in our lives just like he did in this uh, quick lesson that we're going to learn here. In this lesson here, you see there's a big book, right? Everybody sees this big book. So the whole Bible, we've reached the end. We've actually reached the end of the Bible in, this, in today's lesson. And we've reached the end of Vacation Bible School. So we've, you've done great. And, uh, and today's uh, scripture that we've read, that we memorize, And God shall wipe away, it's in Revelation 21, Verse 4, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And those former things, we're going to know what they are, and quickly as, as we close um, today's lesson. Let's say a quick prayer, so we all know that. Put our hands together, bow your heads, close your eyes, and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come together, dear Lord, and the end of this great uh, vacation Bible school, and we've heard so many good things, dear Heavenly Father, we ask uh, that you use it, dear Lord, in our hearts, and that you speak to the children, dear Heavenly Father, and, and just place uh, your word in their hearts, dear Lord, and, and if they have questions, dear Heavenly Father, about 
their salvation and how to be eternally with you, dear Lord, and, and all those questions that we may have, that it will be answered today, dear Heavenly Father. And we ask all these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. We, uh, we have the, today's lesson is called consummation. Now, I'll tell you, I know some of you probably don't know what that means. I didn't quite know what it meant either, but I looked it up in God's word. And basically, it means completion. So we all know what completion means, right? We've completed, like you complete your homework, you complete your, your assignments at home, at school. That's what completion is. So basically, consummation today is all the way through in the Bible. And the Lord says that in Revelation 21 of the verse that we just read, that it's been completed. So it is finished. So receiving their completion in Christ is, is the important thing to realize here. That we've not only completed, the Lord returns, and not only all of these different things are completed, and there's no more pain, there's no more suffering, there's no more tears, there's none of that left. So it's been completed, but the key is to be completed in Christ. That is the key to this lesson, to this whole vacation Bible school, is to be completed in Christ. Because if we're not completed in Christ, then his return for us, and as you're going to hear some scripture here, won't mean anything. For the people that haven't accepted him as a savior, by admitting, believing, and receiving that gift of the cross as it, as it was told to you yesterday. In verse um, 21.4, the people will enjoy a new intimacy with God. That means that they're going to enjoy a new relationship with God. That is right now only in our faith and only in our prayer and only in believing in him. Do we have that intimacy with him? But here at the end, when the, the Lord returns, we're going to have intimacy with actual, with God himself. And we're going to enjoy that. And the elimination of those sorrows that sin brings. If we all know, even as, as little children, the problems that sins, they bring us. They, they bring that anger that we feel sometimes, that, that sadness that we feel sometimes when we sin, um, we, all of those things is what sin brings. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to eliminate all that upon his return. That is the important, um, the important lesson here today is knowing that upon his return, all of that goes away for the people that are saved. And we will be together with him for all eternity. And that, what a glorious day that will be. Today, the great news is, as I read this, is someday at the consummation, we know that that's completion, anyone who has admitted he sins or she sins and believed and trusted in Jesus will live in a brand new place, the new heaven and the new earth. What a glorious place that's going to be. It's like nothing we've never, the most beautiful rainforest imaginable. And I don't know, so whoever here has been and, and looked upon a beautiful rainforest with the birds flying and with the uh, waterfalls and that clear water, and, and you look upon that and say, this is amazing, this is beautiful. That's not going to be anything in comparison to what the Lord will have for us in heaven the new heaven and new earth and the bible says that god is going to make all things new someday and we won't live on this earth anymore but on the new one on this fallen earth this it could be bad sometimes in this earth we're not going to live here anymore and now when the lord returns we it's not like we all have to like die to be with him we're all going to be with him. Those even that are alive will still be with him that have accepted Christ as their Savior. It, it's, it's going to be an amazing thing. I cannot 
You can look at pictures of all the great uh, greatness in the world, all the beauty in the world. You can just constantly look upon that and say, man, that is, uh, that is beautiful. But it's not going to be anything as being with the Lord. And we all know from our stories here, well, not our stories, the fact from the Bible is that the, the world was originally very good. Now, it's good because of God and bad because of man's sin. That's basically what happened to this world. And the earth, the earth will always have good and bad. This earth, this world that we live in will always have good and bad. And we, we should know that heaven is a real place. Whether the Lord returns and we're with him in heaven, or we die in Christ and we go to heaven, that heaven is a real place. The book of the Bible that talks a lot about heaven is this book of Revelation. And, and there's a false thing that we hear sometimes that everyone gets to heaven when they die. Everyone doesn't get to heaven when they die. Sometimes we hear people die and they say, well, he or she, they're in heaven. And we're taught this over and over again in this world. Why? Because people are fearful of that, of that death and where their eternal place is going to be. For those that accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, that fear should not exist because that that, <coughs> that death, excuse me, that death has been conquered. It has already been conquered by the Lord Jesus Christ. And death is not something that we're afraid of or that we have to think as, as something that beat us. Even if it's disease or anything else like that. Death does not, never beats the saved person. It's always a victory. Why? Because we'll be, we'll receive new bodies there will be no more crying or pain or suffering. We'll eat food. We will most likely will have different jobs in heaven. So I, I cannot think of, of, any, more, of any, any more wonderful place than that. So we die with Christ in having faith in him and accepting him as our savior. We go to heaven. Or if the Lord returns... Those of us here that are here and that are saved, then we'll be eternally with him. The dead and those that are alive will be with the Lord. That today's is, and in closing, I'll just, uh, I'll say that all is good again. We've heard this week about, we've heard about um, creation we heard about the horrible corruption and catastrophe, sin. We've heard about confusion, as we saw the other day that we people couldn't understand each other. Um, then we saw. Then we heard yesterday Christ and the cross. That in today's lesson, that all is good again. Always remember yesterday's lesson, which kind of brings us to today. Yesterday's lesson is. Christ and the cross. That empty cross is what brings everything that we studied here together. And, uh, and when, I, when in closing here, I'm going to ask all, all, of you, um, all of you children one thing. And yesterday we heard how, how to be saved. I'm going to ask all you children one thing. That today, before you leave here, or if, if your parents are here or your teachers and stuff like that, Ask them, please. This is your like assignment here. Ask them salvation. What is it? Ask them that. Your teachers, your 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 the people here, you know, the 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 ones that are taking care of you, you know, the pastor, if you see him walking around, Mr. Kingston, that now we know we speak the same language. <laughs> Ask someone here, what is salvation? If you're not 100% sure right now what salvation is, what, what it is to admit, to believe, and that you will forever receive, if you don't know what salvation is, that the Lord Jesus Christ died to pay for your sins, 
was resurrected and he's and he was he's alive so he died he was buried and he was ri risen and he's alive and he's alive today so if you don't know what salvation is as we close uh, right now in 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 just uh, in prayer today ask someone just part of your lesson so i'm giving you assignments for your teacher so what you're going to do is you're going to remember this, and then when you get with your teachers, you're going to ask them what salvation is. Everybody understands that? Over here, boys, you understood that? Okay. Girls over here, and everyone in the, in the middle, we all understood that, right? All right. So let us pray, and we'll close, and we'll, uh, we'll continue this, this wonderful uh, vacation Bible school. Let us pray. Again, bow your heads. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I ask your Lord for, for, these, uh, for all the children here today that, that we love so much, dear Heavenly Father, but we know that you love them more. And we ask, uh, dear Lord, for, for them to ask the question, dear Heavenly Father, about salvation, and at least to leave here today 100%, dear Heavenly Father, sure of what salvation is. It doesn't matter the age, dear Lord. I just, um, it's in my heart, dear Heavenly Father, that I just want these children to know what salvation is. And we ask all these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. All right, let's sing. Okay, so who wants to hear the last play, the last skit? Does anybody want to hear it? Raise your hand if you want to hear it. Okay, and it's really not the very last one because there may be something on Sunday night if you come back. But this is kind of the last one. So here comes, I don't know, all the crew here. Well, I see the sun is out, I hear the birds are out. And we are out of danger? What oh. happened? Oh, well, like a good sidekick, you jumped out of the boat just as we were approaching the top of the waterfall. I know, I'm afraid of heights. Phew. Well, then I jumped out and made a very soft landing. That soft landing was me. Oh. <laughs> good work, Sam. We both tried to swim to shore, but the current was too strong for us. Even I've been lifting weights. Mm. As the ship careened over the falls, we were swept over. I thought we were goners. But at the last moment, I pulled this string on the life vest and a parachute popped out. That's what I call being prepared. Whew. Well, we floated down and eventually landed here at the bottom of the waterfall. What happened to the boat? No trace of it probably in pieces underwater. That's too bad, I left my favorite pair of shoes on there. Well, speaking of left behind, where's Miss Cassidy? Did she ever jump off the boat? I never saw her. <gasps> Miss Cassidy, you're alive! Barely. That was a nice cruise tour you have there, Mr. James. <laughs> this was all your fault. You were the ancient treasure hunter. There's a reason why no one returns from Fortune's Fork. How did you survive? I was standing on the deck of the ship hoping the treasure would somehow be there. But there was no treasure. I was seeking something that was empty. You can't serve God and money. Then, it was like you said, Mr. James. There was still hope. I ran to the cabin to put my life vest on, and then I prayed. I turned my heart towards Jesus, the true treasure. That's wonderful, Miss Cassidy. That doesn't explain how you survived the fall. So, as we were going over the falls, I pulled the string on this life vest? Where did you get these life vests from? You'd be amazed what you can get in an auction. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's no treasure. There never was. And that's okay. That's great, Miss Cassidy. Because... Mr. James? Uh, not now, Sam. 
Didn't you say Riviera Falls glowed brighter than the sun and there were rainbows all around? Yes, why? I think we're at Rivi Riviera Falls. That's impossible. And I think I know why it glows so bright. You're right. Look behind the waterfall. That's the ancient treasure. It's glowing in the sunlight and there are rainbows everywhere. It was here all along. I didn't have to go through all of this mess. If I had just followed the right path from the beginning, we would have gotten to the treasure. You know what this means? We can donate the treasure to people who really need it? No, now we can buy a new boat. Oh, come on, let's get cleaned up here. I also need a new pair of shoes. I just need to get to a dryer. <laughs> Good job. And there still is more on Sunday. Don't forget to come back, okay? Hey, yay. <laughs> Um, and miraculously, there is one more minute left, so I can do, let's do our verse of the day one more time, because that was a really hard new verse that we just learned, but it, we can sing it, and we'll get better at it, so let me find it on here for you. All right, ready? So it says, let's say it together, ready? Revelation 21.4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And here's the song. Does the song make it easier to learn? Do you think you're getting it? Yeah, no, yes, no. Keep working on it, that's good, that's good. Okay, um, let's have the rabbits, which I got right that time, the rabbits go line up at the door back there. And how about the big kids? The